Okay, this is the number fourth in a series. It, this is um, similar to Ed Lead Skullman's bucking coils setup. So what, what I've got here is I did my first video was on this, and it's just a simple piece of metal that's bent in a U. And then I've got one layer of 24 gauge magnet wire, and it put out uh, almost a volt at at um, I think it was a half an amp, 400, 400 to 500 millivolts. Then I progressed to this one. This one put out, this is the same thing, it's, except it's a segmented core. And, it, and also it's got the bucking coil configuration. And it's just something out of a motor of, of a washing machine, um, washing machine pump motor. Water water pump motor, and so I was using this setup over here to run all this. And this is a this is a similar thing, and and so what I've got here when I did this, it put out ten ten and a half volts at one point six milliamps. Or uh, excuse me, a hundred point one six milliamps. So this is this is a little different. This one is basically that, and this are the same. And this and what I did is I I took a quarter or whatever eighth inch shaft and I put three of the similar magnets. I think they're a little bit larger than that. These are definitely half inch. This is three eighths, and these are half inch by half inch rotary, diametrically magnetized rotary magnets. And so. Um, but I, I took them and I, I put north all on one side and then south all on the other. And there is a lot of drag on this. It wants to pull from side to side, which is normal. And so I've got the same um, coils underneath here. It's, um, I don't know how many feet that is, but I'm thinking it's between 150 and 300 feet, which is a lot of difference, but not much compared to what you're about to see, I, I hope. Um, so I set this up and now I'm going to turn this on and set this in the holder and I hope you can see let me get this up a little bit so you can see the numbers a little bit better and so what's going to happen here is I've got to hook this up Okay. And what's going to happen here is you're going to see how many volts and amps this puts out. This is running a lot faster. My my uh, my drive motor runs, but it says it goes up to thirty thousand. But I doubt if it's turning thirty thousand volts. It might be, maybe turning eighteen to twenty thousand at tops. But on the low side, it says it runs at five, and I'm thinking it's going to run a little bit less than that. So, um, and it's got a variable speed on it. So I'm going, and it runs on 110 volts at 0.89 amps, I believe. So 120 amp, 120, 10 to 120 volts at about point, probably close to one amp. And so here, let me switch this on. <laughs> I need to get a better connection over here. It's, there's some short shorting happening. Okay. My bad. <laughs> here, let me put it on the 700 volts and see what I get out of that. See how many AC volts I get out of this thing. Now, when I first started running it, I would get over over 350. Well, it's the bearings aren't like they once were, and it's getting something less than that now. It's getting around 320 volts. So I've got it on the 700 scale here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to the millivolts. 20, 20 amps, excuse me. Change it to 20 amps. I'm going to have to bring this over. 
Wow, it sped up. That's a trip, isn't it? At 0.86 amps. So, hold on, let me do that again. So, I was, I'm running at about 325 volts and then about 0.85 amps. So it's about 850 milliamps. Well, let's see how many volts one more time. 320. Alright, well, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a couple more videos, so stick around. <laughs>